I know that pain too. When I was when I first got into this in crypto in like 2017, I did the same crap too. I bought all the bought all this, the bad coins or whatever and rode them all to uh, oblivion. Uh, I don't know what the hell I was doing. Um, but uh, I think my first good turnaround was uh, you know in the March the COVID dip. I was just buying up everything I could, and it was like that was the worst feeling ever. Buying the I mean, buying dips. Or buying uh, or catching the falling knife, whatever is like the worst feeling ever at the time. Like that that big payday uh, dip afterwards, buying that you just you just feel so bad doing it. But those are the <laughs> best buys you'll ever have in your entire life. Is when you're feeling horrendous yeah. and you want to die. Those are the best buys ever. Yeah, we bought some nice bottoms there. Hit hit one right after yeah. the right after the, uh, the the AA was done, right after Big Payday, and yeah. uh, hit a nice dip there. And that, was our, that was our nice COVID. That. that was like our nice COVID dip, so to speak, for, for Hex. Yeah. That was an opportunity of a lifetime for that one. It was really nice. And yeah, I mean, I definitely can echo your sentiments on, on buying bread and bloody days. Like, I was definitely stressed out back in March of uh, last year. Yeah. The COVID and the stock market was just crashing and limit down every day. It was brutal. Um, and it's like, but yeah, you buy in stocks at those times and you look at them now, you know, a little over a year later and everything is up multiples of X, yep. you know, in the stock market, that's fantastic. You know, you don't get that very often. Multiples yep. of X in a year. Um, obviously, crypto is not better. So, um, but it's just interesting to see even in the crypto markets and the legacy markets, like you still get that gut-wrenching feeling in your stomach of like god this is awful but that's that signal that's that time to that's the maximum opportunity you have feeling. to go yeah you have to go against that yeah. how you feel because I mean, when i was buying mm -hmm. uh in that COVID dip uh i was buying bitcoin you know four thousand five buying all the way down and it felt like i was just throwing money in a slot machine like i was just saying fuck it throw some more in <laughs> fuck it okay we're at nine thousand all right i'll buy some this is great eight thousand okay this is great seven oh okay Fuck. Okay. Six. Oh, <laughs> fuck me. Okay. I'll just put some more in. Whatever. And we got to four. I was like, I don't really want to buy more right now. This is, this is ridiculous. This just kept going and going and going. And it's like, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Because you know, you know the fundamentals behind it, and like, um, you know it's going to do good. Uh, it's just a matter of when. So, same thing with this uh, big payday dip. I mean, you knew it was going to recover. You didn't know when, but. You got to buy it up. Yeah. And I was looking at the trading chat and we were talking about like just the, where the dip was going to bounce from on the hex drop recently. And they said that when it hit like 0.13 cents, it was the uh, most oversold it's been on the RSI since the big payday dip. So relative to the, the amount of selling we're getting relative to the buys is pretty pretty high right now. So usually that's a good time. 